And we are live. Take two. Okay. We don't know what the hell happened then. We had a, um, quite a big storm come over and lots of clouds come across and rain. And both of us could not even access um, any technology. But while we have it, we're going to do a take two. So um, welcome, Kikau Addicts. Thank you for tuning in. Noel's shaking his head. Ah, uh, someone just looked in. He's thinking it's not working, but let's just continue on. Misty's on. As if it is. Hey, Misty. Hey, take two. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to show you a quick recipe about how to make some really healthy, yummy, raw cacao, or AKA chocolate, raw chocolate, uh, using the freshest ingredients like Peruvian um, cacao butter, cacao powder, coconut oil, maple syrup, pink salt, plus a very special ingredient and some superfoods as well. But come over here for a moment, though. I want to go that way first. Where's it out of? It's out of my book. Cacao Addict, coming to a store near you very soon, which is very exciting. Very, very exciting. We managed to get some shipped to Italy um, before they were actually released, which is really cool. Or, you know, sent to um, America, UK and to Australia. But come over here for a sec. I managed to find a wholesaler in um, England and they shipped this over. It's quite crazy with um, Amazon Prime. But this is cacao paste, cacao powder and cacao butter. So this is your crude stuff that makes your, and coconut oil. This is what makes your chocolate set hard. This is the powder that thickens it up. And this is either cacao liquor or cacao paste. It's like a concentrated raw chocolate. So I'll show you all the ingredients out of the packets and then we'll get kicking. So this is the cacao butter. So these are quite conveniently put into little buttons. But you can buy it um, pulverized, you can buy it in like crumbed, or you can buy it in like big chunks. I think the buttons are actually quite easy because they melt super quick. And this is the cacao liquor or the cacao paste that I just showed you. And this is like a, a, a crude cacao. So it's got a bit of the, um, the darker color because it's got the cacao um, bean. It's pretty much the whole bean ground down. So it squares at you because it's crude. And it's, yes, exactly. <laughs> and it's really, really bitter. I need to turn that back on as well. So this is my double boiler method right here. It's just been simmering away in between our um, technological difficulties. So you can do this recipe super quick by using a whisk, a glass bowl, and a pan with a little bit of water and you just let the water simmer and this is how the uh, the double boiler method works so what I'm gonna do is I've got the whole cup here I'm being a bit generous because I like to um, have more of an intense chocolate flavor but chucking that into the bowl and I've already measured out some coconut oil as well so this is a quarter of a cup it's been warm here so it's yeah, actually liquid it's liquefied <laughs> Praise the gods, it's liquefied. So look guys, you really want to get a good quality coconut oil. Don't be buying a cheap and nasty one because you're going to get a cheap and nasty outcome. So pay that little bit extra to get a virgin quality or a first press quality. It's it's really, really, really worth it. It's beautiful. I'm going to put the because it's cacao right? paste. Um, coconut. Yep. Oh. Coconut oil has got, here I am, <laughs> coconut oil's got some amazing microbial, antimicrobial properties to it. It's, um, it's great for when you're feeling a bit run down or your immune system's a bit um, naff. So it helps with um, snotty noses and sort of like mu mucus. It also is, is, is um, really beneficial to brain health. It's great for skin. It's great for everything. So we love coconut oil. We tend to use it lots. Yeah, Misty, uh, I think the buttons seem to melt um, a little bit quicker. Um, and it's because they're, and, and they're also smaller as well, they're not big chunks. Yeah, I used to buy it from, um, there's a company in Australia called lovingearth.net, which is probably one of my most favourite companies um, when I am back in Australia. And you can also get it from local Perth people, uh, Woodvale Way and Pay. They carry a good selection of organic cacao. But seriously, it's all about, chocolate grows all over the world, or you know, a lot of countries export chocolate, should I say. But in my opinion and in my tastings and my experimenting, the South American cacao is, is purely the best just because of where it grows. Like it, it's the um, altitude for one, it's the rainfall, it's the soil, it's the particular cultivar of the chocolate bush. Um, you know, chemically speaking, South American chocolate just sings to me and that's what I choose to use in all my recipes because it's just got a different flavor to African and also to um, Indonesian and other other countries that I've tried so you can see that's melting beautifully 
if I didn't add that cacao elixir or the um, the cacao paste, it wouldn't be this brown. It would just be, like, would a just be like a gold. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's the melted coconut oil, and that's the melted cacao um, buttons, which is the butter. So all the cacao butter is is clarified chocolate fat. So when they boil the beans, this is the yumminess that rises to the top. So for people who don't know, like cacao butter is cocoa butter. So it's what a lot of beauty products are made from. So it's great for the skin, it's great for the brain. And of course, cacao is really high in magnesium. It's high in a lot of phenomenal, phenomenal things. I'm just going to turn that off the heat. Because it doesn't need to be too hot. And you don't want to boil it, do you? Because no. if you boil it, you're actually killing the good properties. Whereas... Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you can see that's completely melted. You don't want to have any little lumps there. Otherwise, it, um, it won't go. It's like science, y'all. Hi, Anne. So we tuning in. have got a... I don't do things by halves. This is a full, a full cup of cacao um, powder. Actually, I might swap hands so I'm not blocking your camera. You're just going to put a little bit in at a time, okay? So about half of that. Mix it in. We don't want any lumps. We don't like lumps in our chocolate. And then another little bit. Whisk it in. Now, look, this is, this is really the traditional way of making chocolate you know there is a there's a process called tempering chocolate where you heat it up and then you cool it down a little bit and you put in some more cacao butter or clarified chocolate and then you heat it up again so i don't really follow the the true method of tempering i just like this is like a raw tempering it still it still gives you a hard chocolate the chocolate still sets but um it's not it's not gonna if you leave it on the bench for a while, because it's got coconut oil, it will start to, you know, sort of move a little bit. <laughs> uh, who leaves their chocolate around and yeah, doesn't exactly. eat it straight away? Exactly. I don't think so. You, you guys all eat it straight away, right? And you can either have it in the fridge or you can have it in the freezer, depending on how you like it. Yep. Um, but you definitely want to keep it in the fridge. Or make a plate. And, and just take it out a little bit before you eat it. Make a plate and just eat it all at once. Today's superfood um, edition is Maca. So here's, here's Loving Earth. That's a company that I really love, the Australian company. Maca is a root that comes from South America. And it's actually related to the radish family. And it's really good for raising the libido, men and women. Um, it's also hormonally supporting. It's great for energy. It's great for endurance. It's great for stamina. It's great for like so many things. It's one of my... One of my favorite superfood additions. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm using a maple syrup I've sourced over here as well, which is bio. So in Italy, bio. in Europe, bio. <laughs> bio, it, it means uh, like organic. So you wanna source a really good quality organic maple syrup. Please don't get anything that says maple flavor. Maple flavor is just a, a chemical S storm. It's got so many um, additives and um, artificial sweeteners and all sorts of horrible, horrible things in there. Make it a little bit sweeter. I normally put a quarter of a cup in, but I just put a little dash extra as well. So that's it there. Good, I like it a bit sweeter. Yeah, me too, me too. Um, I'm putting in a pinch of pink salt. I don't know if you can see that there, but salt really makes chocolate pop. It just um, changes the flavor really, really well. I love it. And today, look, we absolutely love the quality and the, uh, the pure purity and the flavor of um, doTERRA essential oil. So we are using wild orange. Uh, this is sourced from the Dominican Republic. Smells just like you peeled an orange because that's all it is. It's cold pressed from the rind. So what I'm going to do is I like a bit of an intense Jaffa flavor. So I'm going to put eight drops in. Two, three. Oh, did nine come out? Oops, I don't know. <laughs> you do need to be very careful when you're putting the wild orange in because it's very, um, well, it doesn't, at least with wild orange, it just makes it a more intense flavor of orange. But if you're using cardamom or um, ginger even, or some of the other ones, or cinnamon, if you're not watching, it can, can come out quite quickly. And then you have something that is such an intense flavor that you, uh, um, it's not as enjoyable. And you can't, you can't take it out. Yes. Basically, once it's in there, baby, it is in there. 
Hey, I want to show you this really cool um, edible dust that I purchased from, um, I also got this from Woodvale Way and Pay, but most food places like cake places, cake decorating places, sell it. It's, uh, it's an edible gold dust. So I don't know if you can really see that. It is actually shining beautifully there. So what you do is you get a, a little paintbrush, like so. Yep, any old paintbrush. And what I've done is... Not one is, that you've used for painting. Yeah, not one that you've used for painting. <laughs> I've just put a tiny little dab of the gold in each uh, vessel, like the uh, empty moulds, and I've just done this through all of them. So today I'm using the Love Hearts there, and I'm also and using... And they're also in the Cacao Edict book. And also putting it in um, these ones here. These are my favourite, one of my favourite moulds. I love these. These are little cacao pods as well. So that, that to get this sheen, um, you need to put that gold in first. And then when you pour the chocolate in and they set, that gold is going to be on the top of the chocolates. It looks really cool. Yes, but Misty, we brought that with us. If you don't, um, yeah, these, I bought the chocolates, with the moulds with so them. They, Absolutely. Uh, gold dust. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. So to make it easy, I always find pouring chocolates into a jug is, is a, um, a simpler way. Otherwise, doing it in a bowl is good to mix it, but pouring it evenly into moulds is a bit of a trick doing it from a bowl. So it's best to kind of put it into um, a jug. I'll show you how to do that right now. Now, a really important trick is to not allow any water to get into the bowl, but that should be okay. Uh, to the uh, Mix. jug. Oh yeah. Now I sometimes put vanilla in my chocolate as well, but not all the time. I didn't put it in today, but you don't need to. And the beauty of superfood additions, you know, like maca, like lacuma, like maki like acai, like spirulina, whatever you want. You can, you know, take your chocolates to the next level. Level. This is what inspired me to, to create a lot of recipes that I've been creating for many years, is that chocolate is good for you on its own, but when you add other things to it, like food grade essential oils, like superfood powders and all that stuff, it just takes it to that absolute next level. So what we're gonna do is just pour doesn't matter if a bit spills over because I'll show you a trick. Now, moulds. If you go on eBay, you can find moulds. You can get them super cheap. You can get them super expensive. These little trays here cost me about $30 Australian for one because they're proper professional chocolate making moulds from like Belgium and from Italy. But, you know, you can get um, the little silicon ones from Spotlight or any like um, kitchen stores for a couple of bucks. You can pick them up. But really when you start playing with these kind of molds it um well for me it's really exciting because the the, the finish is something spectacular it just gives you a, a whole new level of sheen and and gloss to them and these ones are hard where a lot of the other ones that you buy are actually yeah the uh, silicon the silicon yeah um, i'm not going to do that scraping just yet but i'll just do them all and then i'll show you the scraping i just put the phone over the top of the pot Got steamy. <laughs> <laughs> steamy camera. Coming to you live from the steam room. Yum. Now again, this is my basic recipe, but you can add nuts to this as well. You can add seeds. You can mix it up. But this is really the basic, basic recipe that can form the base for hard chocolates or whatever you are making. So, what we do now, it's probably easier to do this back into the bowl as it is to do it in the jug. You just rest it on the edge, and this little duvalaki, I don't know what to call it, cake scraper, scraper. chocolate scraper. You just want to make sure that everything is smooth and has got that. So there is one trick to these hard, um, hard chocolate mould cases, that is if you... Uh, um, if you need to fill them right to the top, don't you? So you yeah, need exactly. to do the scraping. In the silicon ones, it doesn't matter so much because you can pop them out. But the hard ones, if you don't fill them all the way to the top, it, it seems to create a bit of a barrier in there. Yeah, so and you can't get them out, believe me, I've tried. <laughs> it's really, it's like, I want that chocolate. 
and you just can't get it out, which is not good. So yeah, you can overfill it. I was being a bit cautious because I don't like to waste the chocolate, although you're not you're not wasting it. But you know, fill it up right to the top, and if one or two looks a little bit not full, just push the remainder over to that one and fill it up, if that makes sense. But you want a nice even scrape like this. And that is simply it. You just pop them. I'm not going to put them in the fridge at the moment. I can do that in a second. But while I've got you, come over to our little box of tricks and I'll show you some other food grade ones that we like to use as well. So this is our very small <coughs> collection <laughs> of um, doTERRA oils. These oils blew us away. We've been using oils for many years and nothing, nothing really came um, close to the, the quality and the purity and the testing that goes into doTERRA specifically. So a couple of other ones that we would use for cooking would be like a lemon. Lemon oil is just amazing. If you want something a bit more exotic, you could sort of go down the line of like cardamom. The cardamom is beautiful, um, but be mindful. Um, add less in yes, and then taste it. And so. same with this one, cinnamon. You know, it's also quite a strong one as well. You've got ginger, you've got cassia, you've got tangerine. Yeah, there's just so many, so many different um, options and so many different choices. Why we have partnered with doTERRA is just the, the quality and the testing. Like when I first got into essential oils, probably oh, 30 years ago, there was the purity just wasn't there. The, the testing just wasn't there. Um, but with doTERRA's purity and the quality, the testing now is there, like to the thorough, um, the degree. Um, and that when we first got into doTERRA four years ago, wasn't it? Yep. We, we could, we, through research and finding out, you can actually put these puppies into your drinks, into your food, because they are just so pure. So if you are after something that's uh, an incredibly therapeutic boost to your food, um, to sort of you know boost your health and boost boost to, to support your health naturally, um, and also for flavouring, it's an intense flavouring. So eight or nine drops in my chocolate, as opposed to grinding down heaps of um, rind from from an orange. It's just it's instant and it's really healthy, and there's just an absolute myriad of um, health benefits to them as well. So yeah, that's that's the main reason we chose to partner with yeah. doTERRA was the purity, the testing, and they're grown all around the world, which is really fantastic. And they look after farmers, there's no middlemen, none of that stuff. So it um, yeah. resonates with us beautifully. And in the Cacao Edit cookbook, which um, will be available everywhere very soon, there's also a lot of information about the um, uh, all of the superfoods and all the different recipes in there as well. Yep, yep. yep. I think I've chosen tw about 28 different um, superfoods. So there's 50 recipes, couple of juices in there and smoothies because I love my juices and smoothies. Yes, with chocolate as well. Some of them have got chocolate. Um, and they all incorporate a different superfood, different essential oils and heaps of nuts and seeds and organic produce. But chocolate at its core, hence its name, cacao addict. <laughs> so um, it's going to be up everywhere soon, guys. So maybe two weeks and we'll have it, have it to you. Yeah. Uh, if you have any questions at all, anyone or about the recipe or about the oils, um, shoot, shoot us a message. message. Yep. Thanks for tuning in. Till next time. Ciao. Bye, guys. Ciao. Arrivederci. Arrivederci.